Jesus, I had several goosebumps right now. Oh my goodness, can you pass me that cigarette? I'm not smoking, but my running gag, I will start now. Hello my beautiful friends, welcome to part two of the Divas of the Queendom are singing Ed Sheeran's best hits. Let's jump right into where we stopped. Mar Mariana Isabel. It's, it's very low for her, huh? Okay, just have to make a small stop when it's getting low it's it's tough for a lot of singers that are not like me an alto because if you are an alto you are lucky because you can reach those low notes but usually there is very little demand demand for uh, low notes because gen generally when the when when when, when students come here they want to sing as high as Beyonce, as high as, um, as Sia, or you know, like all the other stars, they don't want to necessarily sing that low, and it's, and it's oftentimes not needed, you know. But here now, it's really low, and when it's low, a lot of singers struggle to to make it resonate because it's low vibration, and because of the low vibration, it doesn't the sound is not as as, as much as when you sing in a higher key. It's difficult, but um, okay, let's let's see. Beautiful. Hannah. It's very low. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your Now, just a small stop. You see that it's so low that the music seems to be much more louder now appearing because the music is now really not in in balance with their singing. It, it's because it's too low. Um, it, it, sadly, I wish they could make it a higher, a little bit more higher in key. But then, if they continue to belt out those high notes, it's gonna be too high, too high, and too high if they start to set it a little bit higher. Um, but other other than that, I want to say I love how each of them are are singing together in harmony. You know, what I think some of them are missing is a little bit of performance magic. You know, some singers they come on stage and they have that natural magic, like Regine Velasque. She comes on stage and there's something about her. She has this grace, you know, and she has this. She has this. Leah Salonga is the same. They have this magic around them. And I think some of them need to work a little bit on, on that, you know, on, on performance magic. Well, I think that one is a little bit, and I have to make a stop because of copyrights, you know that. But I think this this one, you know, hmm, what else, what, what, what do you want to do with Ed Sheeran songs, right? It's, it, it is a challenge indeed, right, to make them look powerful and make them step up so the divas can sing them, right? But it, I think a lot of... A lot of voices I listen from Filipino singers, they sound quite similar. There are similarities. So if a lot of voices sound similar, you need to figure out what is the quality in your voice. What is the, the specialty that you have? Are you an expert in riff and runs? Because the, each of them can really sing good high notes. But what makes you different than the others? Do you have a raspy tone to it? Do you use a certain technique? Is it the way how you belt and then go from mix or do you mix it? You know, there are different kind of combinations that you can do. What is it that makes you stand out, right? Home, 
love those high notes. Wow, very nice. Always a great good final ending. Oh, I love that dress on the left. It's an empire, empire dress. Oh, that's a voice. I found a love. Okay, small little stop before the copyright police is after me. But here, um, I sell Santos Zambrano. That's a timbre girl. She is having that timbre where I was like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm listening now. I'm here. I'm listening to that beautiful dark timbre. And it's very, it sounds to me like a woman that is in her full power, you know, that is singing right now. And you can hear the major, uh, um, you can hear the experience from life, perhaps, in the, in the voice. Do you know what I mean? Let's continue. Yeah. Darling, just drive right That's a voice. And follow my lead. Jessica, here you are. Darling, just kiss me slow. Your heart is all now. And in your eyes. Beautiful dress. She also has an amazing dress. Did you hear that flip and I'm dancing in the dark? Now she made such a very beautiful transition from chest voice to head in a very short amount of time. And I think that's so nice. It is exactly some of those qualities that I was speaking just a minute before. Is what, what, are, the, what are the things that you are using you know, to enhance your singing? A lot of crying. Wow. Much more better than the song, amazing. Oh, goosebumps. Amazing. Wow, wow. Jesus, I had several goosebumps right now. Oh my goodness, can you pass me that cigarette? I'm, I'm not smoking, but my running gag, I will start now. Amazing, so they did a fantastic job and she, you, can you see how she changed her vowel to gain more, to be more powerful, to gain more stability. She changed from an O into an A. Ah. So, uh, where was that? She was there to know. Don't tell no one I'm still working and making videos. <laughs> Every time the sun goes down, I you take control. What a fantastic ending. Okay. So let's continue. Last song, I guess. She was riffing out, that's what I'm talking about. She's bringing a lot of different things inside. Yeah! Oh, I have to make a stop, I forgot. But do you see there's so much going from head voice to chest voice, changing vowels, bringing a little bit of different tones into it. She seems very focused and very concentrated. She doesn't really seem relaxed at all. <laughs> she's like, it seems like she's looking into the lyrics. Is someone playing the lyrics there? Okay, I'm gonna sing and I see the lyrics there. Just just a random joke, but yeah, they are stressed, of course. If, if, if you, 
if you are singing and uh, you know there you sing with different singers you are in a competitive situation it's very stressful you have to perform every every and a tone has to be every note has to be per perfect pitch perfect this is going to be on YouTube people will react to it this is going to be live on television so of course you are stressed out or you are you are really used to it and you are a star and then you can like switch but a lot of people cannot and you need to ask yourself if you could switch yeah sometimes it's hard it's even hard to switch at work right 